And a wild scene here as investigators say the apparent target of this deadly gunfire, a rapper from the Atlanta area. They say a pretty well-known rapper, too, in this area, along with a second person in his black Cadillac Escalade. May have been a relative, may have been a member of his entourage. We don't know, but it's that second person, not the rapper, but the second person who was hit by gunfire dies from the gunfire. Let's get right into it. Mike, you'll give you a look. The gas station here, this is right across the street from the busy Beverly Center on La Cienica. See all that broken glass there? That's where the escalators parked. They're getting gas when all of a sudden the windows are blown out by gunfire. They're under attack by bullets flying all over the place. To the left, Mike, you'll give you a look. See all those white evidence markers on the ground? Each one of those is by a shell casing. Gives you an idea how many rounds are fired. Police say in that alleyway, the white vehicle pulls up. Three men get out, and they start firing at will, blasting away, targeting that black SUV, the rapper, and his second person inside. Up top, Sky Fox, a better look at this area so you can imagine the chaos here. It's right across the street, catty corner from the busy Beverly Center, about 5.30, 5.40 in the afternoon, rush hour traffic going by on La Cienica. Shoppers at the Beverly Center, and you have bullets flying like crazy here. Three gunmen firing at will at that black SUV. Hit several times, and they drive off trying to make a getaway to get away from the bullets that are flying. Some more video now. Ground video gives you an idea of how this plays out. So once that SUV is hit by the gunfire, they take off, they hit the gas, and they drive a few blocks away into West Hollywood. They wind up stopping over at Santa Monica and San Vicente, right in the very heart of West Hollywood. You know, over there by the Sheriff's Station, also by the West Hollywood Park. They pull over there because the wounds to the man who was hit inside the Escalade too severe. He's bleeding. They pull over. 911 is called. Paramedics rush in. They take the injured man who's hit by gunfire to the ER. He does not make it, does not survive. So that area now in West Hollywood, also very busy, as you can imagine, on a Friday night late summer. That is all tied up as a part of this investigation, a deadly shooting investigation. Then you have the second location here at the gas station where bullets fly. Investigators say the manhunt is on now. The manhunt on for these three gunmen who, as one witness said, turned into hitmen, almost execution style. Listen to the lieutenant. Uh, they gassed up their vehicle, and as they were getting into their vehicle, a, a white car approached from the alley. Uh, three men got out of that car. They were in all dark clothing. Uh, they approached, uh, fired numerous shots, and then left in that white car going eastbound in the alley north of Beverly. It does appear that uh, we don't see any kind of argument or anything go on beforehand, so clearly these men came here with a, with a mission in mind. Now you're looking live. The mission in mind is gunfire targeting that, that black SUV, the wrapper inside apparently. Still this area, they're still questioning a few people over there. Investigators want to make sure that there, there wasn't gunfire back and forth. Doesn't appear to be the case, but to give you an idea, the shots rang, rang out there and right across the street, the Beverly Center. Imagine that, 5.30 in the afternoon. Incredibly, no one else hit by the gunfire. You saw all the rounds that are filed. So at this late hour, we've got three gunmen on the loose. We've got a white vehicle that's the target of the manhunt and a man who is died in that black SUV tied to the rapper who's from the Atlanta area. For now, we are live here in the Hollywood area. Ed Lasko's back to both of you. Do we Go. not know the, Ed, the rapper's name yet, Ed? No, no indications yet. Investigators, I think, have a very good idea. They're not releasing anything yet because they're still trying to put the tie together on the man who dies here. They don't know if it's a relative or maybe a part of the entourage. As you know, a lot of these fellows always have a big entourage they travel with. So I think until they can get that ID nailed down, particularly notifying family members and relatives, they're not saying at this point.